In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stabilize your footage using Adobe Premiere Pro. Welcome back to the channel. My name is C Jam, and here we are already inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is a clip that I filmed at a recent wedding of mine, right? It's a clip that I filmed on a gimbal and I was just backing away from the bride just to give a nice little reveal shot to show the details on the dress. However, because I was doing this with the gimbal, it's not necessarily 100% smooth. Now let me go ahead and press play and show you the footage that we have. So I start here, let's press space direct to play and then I do a little reveal like so. And you can see that it's not 100% smooth. I mean, it's not terrible because we're on the gimbal, right? Now let's play it again. You see, it just has a little bit of wobbling here and there. And what I'm going to be doing is adding Premiere Pro's built-in warp stabilizer, right? So let me just go ahead and go to my effects tab over here and then let me just type in warp stabilizer is right here. All I have to do is just drag it onto my clip and Premiere will automatically start doing the work for me. See it says analyzing in background one, step one of two and it's almost done. So when this is done you'll see the difference that we have in the before and the after. Stabilizing, stabilizing, stabilizing. And normally when it stabilizes, it just goes in, it just crops in a little bit on the footage. All right, so now it's done. Let's go ahead and press play and see what we have here. See that? It's looking a lot smoother. It's looking much better. Let me just turn off the warp stabilizer effect here and go back to the beginning. You see, especially right here when I'm stepping back, there's a little, like when I'm stepping, I just rock the gimbal accidentally and that's what we want to eliminate. See that? Especially when I'm coming down in the shot, it's just a little bit rough, see that? But no, with the warp stabilizer on, it's looking better. And what I normally do when I'm editing my wedding footage is that I normally slow it down. So for this clip, for example, I'll normally just right click and then go to speed and just slow this down by 25%. So normally if you're editing a wedding, right, or any kind of footage and you want to add slow motion, in Premiere Pro you can't use warp stabilizer as well as um, adjust the speed on the same clip. So what you can do, right, to bypass that, let me just Control and Z to undo. What I can do is convert this clip to a nest, right? So I right clicked and let me go up to nest and let's just call this, um, this, um, clip wedding clip bride dress reveal right and then now that you have your nested clip here you can right click go to speed and duration and then change the speed to 25 percent and then if you were to press play now and see the warp stabilization as well as the slow motion you get better results for your clip right for your project so let's go ahead and press play and look at that how cool is that it's almost perfect right that is so so cool you wouldn't even know that this was stabilized and then adjusted so we can get the best results out of our shot right how cool is that now warp stabilizer won't always work it won't always fix your shaky footage because if you're filming something for example that's handheld like i was filming this vlog clip here let me press play and show you and you can see that i was just literally moving around with the camera like really janky and edgy movements if i were to apply a warp stabilizer to this clip you'll see that the edges become warped because it's just not much that Premiere Pro can work with. Let me just go ahead and apply the effect and let it work and then you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so my clip is finished stabilizing. Now let's go back to the beginning and press play and look what's happening to the edges of this clip here. See that it's kind of like the, the frame is like it's zooming in and out. It's like bubbly, it's not really smooth and it's just kind of disorienting. It's not natural, the movement isn't natural, right? Because there was way too much shaky movement. I mean, this is usable but it doesn't look natural and it may be off-putting to the viewer. So I wouldn't necessarily use warp stabilizer on like this vlog clip where there's way too much, too much movement, right? It's more of fine tuning and fine tweaking your footage. So 
always think about how you're going to edit your footage before you um you actually film it so that when you're filming you can envision the edit and you know that hey i can use warp stabilizer here to fix this but you have to be intentional right you can't just go ahead and do a somersault with your camera and then come into premiere pro and think that you're going to use warp stabilizer to save it it's not going to work so here i have another wedding clip of the bride walking away from the camera and what i'm going to be doing is just repeating the process just dragging it onto my clip but first let me press play you see that i'm walking with her you can see the obvious um you can see the obvious shakes in the frame here because i'm walking i'm still on the gimbal but it's not going to be 100 percent smooth and i know when i'm filming my wedding clips i'm going to be using a lot of slow motion and then i just use warp stabilizer to just tweak it and fine tune it to give me the best result possible right it's all about using the tools that we have at our disposal you can see general camera shake from me walking nothing too crazy now let's go ahead and add a warp stabilizer and see the results that we get here so it's working it's working it's working all right here we are it's finished let's go back to the beginning and press play and you can see that it's a lot smoother in the motion see that it's a lot smoother let's go ahead and turn off the warp stabilizer and see the before you can see the obvious jitters with me walking behind the bread let's turn it back on go to the beginning you can see it's a lot smoother and then if i were to apply the slow motion as we did earlier you can just imagine how epic it would look so let me know have you ever heard of warp stabilizer in adobe premiere pro before have you ever used it before on your clips and based on all that we've done here today how confident are you to start using it in your video editing to level up your production let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to watch more video editing tips from me here on the channel click or tap the screen to watch this video right now